How to create a sparkling star animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. In your project edit window, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select effects. And go to click and drag a fusion composition edit to your timeline. You can change the duration of your selected clip by holding in control or command if you're a Mac user and by pressing D to change the duration. Right click on the new Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Go to click on the Ellipse tool just above the Nodes section to insert a tool that we will use to create the shape of our particles. Select either the left or right view options underneath your tools as you go along through this tutorial to see a preview of your effects above the Fusion timeline. With Ellipse 1 selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, adjust the width and height of your sparkle particles. Here in this particular example, I will reduce the size of these to 0.06. And go to click and add a P-emitter tool from the options above. With P-emitter selected, return to Inspector and underneath Controls. To reduce the number of particles emitting from the source, I will decrease the value for the number variable underneath emitter, from 10 to 5. If you wish for the spark emissions to be cut off by the end of your video, I will move to a point in my timeline where there will be 2 seconds of duration remaining on my animation clip. According to the box second from the left underneath my fusion timeline, the final frame number in this particular clip is 119. By default, the frame rate for a fusion composition clip in DaVinci Resolve is 24. I will therefore go to frame 71 by adjusting the frame reference number underneath the fusion timeline in the bottom right section. And underneath Controls in Inspector, click on the keyframe diamond icon next to Number underneath Emitter. Now go forward on your timeline by one frame, here in this case to frame 72, and go to reduce the value for Number to 0, to stop the particles emitting from the sphere source. This should give sufficient time in the video for all remaining particles to fade away, and not disappear abruptly from screen. To add movement to the particles, go to Velocity, and I will increment the speed of the floating particle slightly by increasing the value for velocity to 0.075. And to ensure that particles float in all directions, change angle variance to 360. To use the ellipse shape and apply this as the particle shape itself, go to Style and change Style from Point to Bitmap. You should now see a yellow arrow appearing alongside P emitter 1. Click on the grey box alongside Ellipse 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow to make a connection. To add some variety to your animation in terms of the size of the particles that emit from its source, return to Inspector and underneath Style once again, go to Size Controls and change Size Variance slightly to 0.025. To have the particles reduce in size to enhance a fade effect that we will apply later on, go to the Size Over Life graph and click and drag the node on the right side halfway down towards the bottom of the graph so that the particles decrease in size over their lifespan as they float away from the particle source. And to add a minor fade in effect for the entrance of the particles, go to Fade Controls and increment fade in slightly to 0.0105. Keep region set to sphere so that the particles emit from a central circular point. You can adjust the position of your source by adjusting the translation X and Y offsets. X for horizontal positioning and Y for vertical. Click on the small grey dots underneath these two variables to reset if you wish. You can also adjust the size of the sphere to have particles emit from a bigger or smaller source using the variable underneath region. Back in the nodes panel, reselect P emitter and go to add a P render tool so that this animation effect can be processed by DaVinci Resolve. With P-Render selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Highlight tool. If I set this node to Preview and select a frame number within the middle of my animation clip, such as frame 45 here for example on the Fusion timeline, after the emission of several particles, we can now see that a star shape has been applied to each of our particles that we initially created with the Ellipse tool. To adjust these, with Highlight selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls. To add curvature between each of your highlight lines, increase the value for Curve, or decrease this so that you only have the highlight lines remaining. I will increase the length of the lines in my highlight animation slightly by incrementing the value for Length to 0.85. 
To change the direction in which the lines point for your highlight effect, adjust the angle value. Here in this example, I will change this to 45 degrees and will keep the number of points in my star shape set to four. With highlight selected, hold in shift and press space once again and go to add a soft glow tool. With this new tool selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, I will reduce the gain to 0.5 to add a gentle vibrancy to the particles. In order to change how far your particles move across your screen during your animation, add a merge tool, which should be automatically connected via the yellow background arrow. Deselect this node and go to select an ellipse tool. Connect this new tool to the green foreground arrow of merge one. We will use this new ellipse shape to create a mask to make the particles disappear as they reach the edge of the new ellipse shape itself. With the second ellipse tool selected, underneath Inspector and Controls, increase Soft Edge to 0.2, which would normally add a blurred effect to the edge of your shape. And to have the particles disappear as they reach the outline of the ellipse shape, select Merge 1 and change Operator from Over to Mask. Connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. Return to your Edits window. The black shade around these star particles contain alpha value, meaning that you can insert a video to the track below your fusion composition clip, which will still be visible behind the sparkle effects. You can also adjust the horizontal position of your sparkle effect by adjusting position X and the vertical position by adjusting position Y. You can reset these to their original values by clicking on the curled arrow shapes next to the variables under Inspector. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.